let's put a background image in okay in your images uh, folder you should have an image called ring of golden logo png so we are going to use that temporarily as a background image so how do we do that let's think about the structure uh, of our website okay if I want to put in a background image I am going to use the background image style property okay so it's going to be background hyphen image colon URL and then whatever the name of the image is and how we get to the image okay now how we get to the image from the CSS is a bit more complicated now if you think about index.html wanting to use the banner image or the other image on the page it's going to go down into the images folder okay fairly straightforward so it's just going to be image src equals images forward slash and then golden top or whatever the image is okay css a bit more complicated why is it more complicated because we got common.css i'm going to have my style here i want to put the background image at the body level so all the empty space either side of the uh, wrapper div is going to show the background image okay so i'm going to be writing this css code in here but let's think about what has to happen the css code is in there it's going to have to go up into the ring of golden folder the root folder and then it's have to, going to have to go down into the images folder and find the ring of golden logo so let's have a look there just to see that's what we're going to have as a background image okay so we've got a uh, it's a little bit more complex uh, this time how do we do this uh, in the word diagram or the PDF uh, that's just a summary of that diagram there okay so the style sheet is here inside the CSS subfolder uh, we want to access this image here so we need to go up into the root and down again okay uh, when we're going up we don't need to know the name of the folder we're going up into okay when we're going down we do need to know the name of the folder we're going into because uh, you're going up out of one folder, but you're going down. You could be going into the uh, scripts subfolder or another subfolder. So we have to specify the name of the folder we're going into. Okay, so going up, don't need a name. All we need is dot dot forward slash. Okay, uh, and then going up, down into images, uh, images uh, forward slash, and then the name of the image. Uh, so let's try that. Okay, so we're just going to amend the body style and background, and there's background image coming up there. Okay, and then we type URL, uh, ordinary brackets. I don't think you should put a space in there. We, we can test that out. Okay, we are in the CSS subfolder here, so we need to get out of that. Okay, so we're going up there, dot dot forward slash, and then we're going down into images and then ring of gullion logo dot png okay so let's uh refresh that's not the browser where is it over here uh that is not working for some reason did i save it I did. Let's come back into here. Maybe I'm running the wrong version. Let's go to view page source. Uh, sometimes this happens. In fact, let's not go to view page source. Let us go to uh, inspect element. And go into the body tag here. And it is showing me here. Let me just blow that up. Okay. Um, I won't say I had planned this mistake. I had not. Uh, Control plus then makes this text bigger. But let's 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 have a look at our style here. Uh, you can see there's a line going through everything here because we have a mistake here. Uh, so it doesn't like background image and it doesn't like font family. But I haven't touched font family. Uh, but something's missing here. 
Okay, background image and the value of the image uh, is a style value pair. The style is separated from the value by a semicolon. Okay, just there. The next style value pair, font family, is the value or is the style, sorry, colon, and there's the value. And that's separated by semicolon. Okay, so I have forgotten to put in a semicolon. So let's uh, come back in here. Common, and if I had my wits about me, I should have realized that font family is the wrong color there. So let's put that in. That resolves the wrong color there. Control S to save that. And let's come back here and refresh that page. And phew, that's a relief. Okay, so here we're seeing our background image now. Uh, and essentially, just when you write background image, uh, it's just going to show the image uh, and it will basically show as many of them horizontally as will fit in the page and vertically as well. So basically, it turns it into a series of tiles. OK, so uh, now the problem with that, I would think, of course, this is uh, opinion, uh, the Ring of Gullion image is quite a strong image okay it kind of distracts from the text a little bit okay so what we want what i want to do is i want to make a weaker version of that a paler version of that almost like the watermark on a banknote okay so we can see it there uh, but it's not distracting from the content of my web page so uh, we'll look at that shortly and uh, we'll make it bigger as well so there aren't so many of them so the, the number of them is also distracting as well as the strong contrast uh, between the background image and the background color between the image okay so we've a little bit of work to do on that uh, but let me just talk a little bit about uh, path names okay uh, relative and absolute path names if we come back in here and in fact let me just go into index.html uh, if i highlight this image here the banner image okay it says image source equals images ring forward slash ring of gullion banner dot png okay all i'm being told there is that the ring of gullion image is inside an images subfolder relative to this web page okay I have no idea whether this is on an external drive or a C drive. Okay, and I don't need to know that. Uh, and you should, I should never be typing in here uh, if you look up at the top of Notepad. I'm in an F drive, okay, it's just a memory stick 2021 ROG video Ring of Golden Index. Okay, I should never have that in here because when I go to upload this website, uh, it's not going to be on an F drive. Uh, it's going to be inside your D number folder. That's going to be inside uh, a web server called MySQL or two or MySQL or three. And we have absolutely no idea how that folder structure is on the web server. Okay, so you never put in the absolute uh, location of a file. Okay, you never start off with uh, something like that. Okay. Uh, or the F drive or whatever. Okay, just where is the file? Where is the other web page uh, relative to this one? Okay, you can see here. All I all I'm telling the browser there is look for the CSS subfolder in this folder where index.html is, and then find common.css. Okay. In terms of the tags here. Uh, Let's th think about that. Okay, that is this file, so let's not talk about that. This one here, okay? So index.html, we know index.html is in the same folder. It's at the same level as history.html, okay? So it's one is not in a higher uh, folder relative to another, another web page being in a subfolder. They're all at the same level. So when they're all at the same level, we have no path, okay? All you're doing there, the href, just bang, straight, what's the name of the file? That means it's at the same level okay so all our images to find them we have they're in the images subfolder our style sheet in fact later on we'll have style sheets we we need the path before them because they're in a subfolder so that's really important okay if something is not if your style sheet is not being applied 
uh, if your images are not visible, the chances are you've got a problem uh, with the path uh, to those resources.